I'm Mike. And I'm John. And we are back at the Rockwest Laboratory because I have some questions for you, John. Sure. Terminology. Sometimes it can get confusing. Sometimes it can get really confusing. Yes. <laughs> so I'd love, love for you to explain some just basic terms that people use in the composite industry. Let's start off with 1K, 3K, 12K fibers. Okay. What are they talking about? When they're talking about that, they're talking about this toe of material. We call this a toe, T-O-W. T-O-W, not T-O-E. Right. A toe has a certain number of filaments in it. That filament count yeah. is what makes up a toe. So if this had 1,000 filaments, we would call it 1K. And a filament is essentially a carbon fiber. A very tiny, tiny carbon fiber. This toe right here is probably 6K. It's so more like six, five and a half to me. 6,000 tiny little strands in there. We can take this and we can filament wind with it, or we can convert it into fabric. One of the more common fabrics that we use in plates is a 3K twill. Right. So that means 3,000 fibers. Right. This is a 3K plane weave, which okay. is similar to a twill, just a different weave pattern. But this has 3,000 fibers per each one of these toes. The more fibers you have in a toe, does that make it stronger? What does it do? It doesn't make it stronger. It does make it thicker, though. So when it's woven, the strand is bigger. Okay. So it becomes thicker. So this is a 3K. We have a 6K right here. Uh-huh. So this has more strand in it, and so it has a thicker fabric to it. It also makes it more difficult to work with because the strands are stiffer by nature. Another common one we yes. get asked, a thermoset versus a thermoplastic. Okay. What's going on there? A thermoset is a two-part, usually epoxy. It could be vinyl ester, polyester, even phenolic. Huh? types of resins. Okay. <laughs> but it's a two part where you mix A and B and it has a exothermic chemical reaction which creates heat, which cures it and makes it a solid. Thermoplastic is a solid that can be reheated and melted and formed into different shapes again and again and again. Gotcha. Thermoset is permanent. Right. Thermoplastic you can change it with enough heat. Right. All right. So, so I have a question John. I've seen isotropic anisotropic and quasi-isotropic. Right. What do we have going on? Quasi-isotropic is when you have equal strength going in any direction in a plane. Carbon fiber, as we know, is only strong in one direction. And that's that would the be unidirectional. Unidirectional, yes. Right. We covered that before. So when we lay up plates, we can make them um, isotropic or quasi-isotropic. We build layers up, but each layer has strength in one direction. So we will build a balanced layup, which usually consists of four plies going in four different distinct directions, and we can get a balanced layup that is quasi-isotropic in the plane of the fabric. Okay. What about anisotropic? Anisotropic is when all of the strength goes in one direction, basically. So kind of like so a tree trunk. A tree trunk is a perfect example. In the composites world, anisotropic would be pultruded rods where all the fibers go in one direction. We can also make unidirectional tubes, Okay. Uh, things like that. Isotropic is when the strength is equal in all directions. So metal and glass are good examples of true isotropic properties in materials. It's a little more difficult to get true isotropic properties in composites, but we can do certain directions and get semi-isotropic properties. Can you let us know more about layup techniques? As you know, there's many different ways to lay up materials. The most basic of which is a wet layup, and that's where you take dry fabric, like what we have here, uh -huh. you put it on your mold, and then you saturate it with resin. There are other variants of that are Infusion process is where we take the dry fabric, we put it on the tool, we put it under vacuum, and we draw resin through it. That's how we made those plates before. Exactly. All right. Then there's a prepreg layup, which is when we receive the material, it already has the resin pre-impregnated into the, into the fiber. It's an easy process, it's very clean, um, but it does require special equipment to process it. What's your favorite process, John? I love prepreg. You look like a pre-preg guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are other variants of that. So a odd version of a wet layup is, is filament winding, where you're taking dry fiber like this, adding resin to it, and then wrapping it around a mandrel. That's a type of wet layup that is a little bit more specific to the, the shape of the part. Well, John, thank you so much for elaborating. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to John or me. 
And uh, you can also find frequently asked questions on our website, the F and FAQ page. I think it's actually facts and questions because they're both li listed. Anyways, <laughs> hope you have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>